Hey everybody, hi! It's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh my gosh, I hope everyone has had a wonderful Sunday. If you traveled this weekend, leave a comment. Let me know where you went, what you did. Did you do any kind of, uh, uh, you know, shop hopping? Did you get any quilt shopping done? That would be great. Uh, anyway, I uh, am here with Lisa, my quilty buddy, Lisa, but she is managing the comments today. So uh, you guys, everybody, please look down at the uh, bottom of the screen and give me a thumbs up. That helps the channel analytics a whole lot. So I'm going to turn this just a little bit so we get a little bit better picture here. But I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's great to see everybody. I'm just so happy to be here again. Uh, Tracy from Scottsdale, I've got news. I'm coming your way. I'm so excited. I'm going to be teaching a class. We'll get into that later on in the channel. I don't, what I do with my notes, Lisa, my pink notebook. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Good thing it's not a snake. <laughs> Oh, you guys are already getting, oh, you're in a campground in Montana. That's great. That's really nice. Yeah, Lisa feels like she's in a campground all the time because her Winnebago is parked out behind mine, behind the house. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, we've got a lot to chit chat about and it's just so good to see you guys. Uh, I, I'm I'm just thrilled that you're here. So Fishers, Indiana. Oh, awesome. Hi, Sherry. Sherry's been a long time uh, uh, viewer and subscriber, and it is really good to see you guys. And I see that you guys are already doing hashtag power tools. Yes. And look on the screen, hashtag power tools. That is the code for the giveaway. And uh, let me tell Lisa real quick. Lisa, you can go to... Um, on a new tab, you can go to streamyard.com slash giveaway, and then you can set it up and get it working because you can, there's, an, yeah, you guys can't do that if you're not logged in. You don't have the password. Don't bother. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll go to it. Yeah. Just poke around. You're fine. There it is right there. I'm, I'm helping her. She's new at this. So I appreciate uh, you guys' patience. Yeah, that'll be good if you've got the right one. It says Villa Rosa Designs uh, Patterns Giveaway and all that. Yeah, I've got it set up here on my computer, but I gave Lisa control of the mouse. So, hey, I'm wearing the new shop shirt for Amy Sews, Amy Sew and Quilt in uh, Harmony, Pennsylvania. So isn't that nice? Sewing in Harmony. I love that. And she's got a logo here on the back of the shirt. Uh, it just came in. I got an email that they were available. And so I went ahead and ordered that one and another one that's pretty cool. But I'll leave that for another show. But uh, OK, so there is a reason that the Kimberbell Red, White and Bloom quilt is up here. The giveaway today is going to be two or one set, one set or two set, one set of stitch cards from BMI Bonnet, Lori Holt's stitch cards. These designs are like this big, you guys, they're little bitty. So this is what it's going to be. And also I have courtesy of Debbie Malakot Dover. And where is she from? Um, I don't know. Quilting embroidering. And uh, she sent me the Kimberbell sewing version of Red, White, and Bloom to share with you. So you cannot lose, I cannot lose the seam ripper and my husband's so excited because it's around my neck. Awesome, Kathy Ann, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's handy to just have some, something hanging there, right? So anyway, I'm going to be giving away this sewing version of Red, White, and Bloom so you quilters can jump on and make a beautiful Kimberbell quilt. So there's no fabric or anything with this. You'll have to source your own fabrics, but uh, you have caught, oh, I've taught you everything you know about machine embroidery and quilting. Oh, you're awful sweet. Thank you, Lori. You know, I, I, I do what I can. Okay. I'm no quilting expert by any way. And I've learned by making a lot of mistakes. That's for sure. But, uh, 
it's it's great to hear about that from you guys. Right. So Mike has put on there hashtag power tools. That is the code to do the giveaway. Uh, I have a question from. No, I'm not Mike. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Is that your mic? <laughs> no. OK, um, but that's how you do the hashtag power tools in order to be eligible to get the giveaway. OK, it's not power tools with thread. It's not capital P or any of that kind of stuff. There's no spaces. It's hashtag. And that's the old pound sign on the telephone. Remember that. So I wanted to catch you guys up on some things that I've been doing. I for weeks now, you guys saw that I was making the home again quilt from uh, this is from Fat Quarter Shop. It's a two color quilt. And also this quilt kit and this values right around one hundred and fifty dollars. This is a, a giveaway courtesy of my benefactor to the channel, Lady M. And I'm going to be giving this quilt kit away when I hit seventy five thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching on YouTube, what you are, because that's the only place I put this stream be sure you hit the subscribe button on there and uh, then tell all your friends and your guilds and your quilt store people and everything. So struggling with some of the curved stems on Calico Garden. Well, I have heard that. Matter of fact, Lisa and I were talking about that today. So can I give tips on doing the curved stems? I thought a lot about this. I actually tried doing the curved stem in brother canvas to get that spline. You double click it and get your dots and make a spline and try the curve. I even started with a curve piece and tried to cut it down and get it a quarter inch. Uh, Y'all make your life simple. Okay. I would use maybe the B skep, uh, the B skep shape. All right. And I would trace it, get a curve because it's curved. Trace it onto a piece of printer paper and then move it over a little quarter of an inch, trace it again, finish off the ends, scan that paper into the scan and cut and let the scan and cut. Then you're going to have your FCM file and you can get it to cut it for you at the same time. So I think that's probably the easiest way to get those curved stems done. That's exactly how I am going to do it. Uh, I do not uh, recommend. So you, uh, Sherry, you've finally been doing the fat quarter shop 2021 block of the month, one block left, and then onto the flying geese in the finishing kit. So if you struggle with making flying geese, check out my video on how to do perfect triangle points. Uh, Sherry's a pro. She doesn't need to watch that, but that will help you quite a bit. If you have if you struggle with flying geese and they come out wonky and they're flying this direction instead of that direction, like they're supposed to. <laughs> so remind me what quilt you have on the wall with the owl. Oh, April, thanks for asking. So this is actually a quilt that was done by Fig Tree and Company several years ago. It, this one is called Winter or Woodland Wonderland. That's what this quilt is. And if you are interested in it, I don't have a link below there right now, but I will put it below the video afterwards. But I did the quilt along with Pat Sloan through the Fat Quarter Shop. It must have been, gosh, what, a year and a half, two years ago? Well, when I finished the Home Again two-color quilt, the orange one that I made, that's this quilt kit, okay, that's this quilt. It's right over here. It's all folded up. I took it down to put these up. Pat Sloan did a quilt along. And if you're not subscribed to Pat Sloan's channel, she does a video every single day except for Sunday. And it's about 10 minutes every morning. And it's really nice. And it keeps you up to date with new fabrics coming out and new goodies on the market and all that. And she does quilt alongs all the time, several going at any given time. Anyway, um, she did this with the Fat Quarter Shop and I got in on this too. And then the channel or life or something got in the way and I was really close to finishing it. I was already on chapter five when I won't call it a UFO, but it continued to be a whip, work in progress. 
So I kept it on the design board and it's been sitting here in the queue under my my long arm table for two years, I bet you. Mm, probably two years, real close to it. So when I finished home again, I said, you know what? I need something to sew on. You know, I, t I tell you this all the time. I love to get up in the morning. It's, you know, just me and the dogs. Sometimes I'll do a uh, morning musings with you guys and we'll just visit while I sew. But I like to just get 20 minutes of sewing done every day, maybe 30 if, if I'm not quite finished. And I set my watch 20 minutes and I just start stitching. Now I need to have my pieces cut in order to be able to do that because I don't cut good early in the morning. OK, so I'll cut my pieces first and then have them waiting. And that's what I did the last two, three days. I got the the three friendship stars finished. I did those this morning. And I got Mr. Gnome done the other day as well. So those are all part of chapter five. And uh, no, that's not, I forget which chapter. Don't hold me to it. Anyway, and then I've got the block that is the tree branch that the owl sits on. So that's next in the queue to get done. That's out of chapter six. And then I'm, I've, I've got chapter seven, the finishing kit, and I'll be done so I really have a lot of work done on this. And I was like, I'm not going to let it just sit there and not get finished. I think it's an adorable quilt. So is there a way to change the blanket stitch length and width of a digitized pattern? So you should be able to do that in your software if you digitize the pattern. If you didn't digitize the pattern, uh, then, and it totally depends on the software and whatever software that you're using, Laura. Um, I know in Brilliance you can, it it totally depends on the, uh, um, how good your software is. So, it and if a pattern was digitized by someone else, like let's say you bought a Designs by Juju pattern, you have to have some really high end software like Hatch or something like that to be able to go in and change those. But it, it's difficult. Now, if you created the pattern like you created it in, in Brilliance, Stitch Artist 2 or something like that. Yeah, you can just go into the settings on that stitch and th just change them wherever you want. So Jima uh, B says, I still need to quilt my red, white and bloom. I did it with you last year, I think. Learned a whole bunch. Yeah, that's great. So if you have the embroidery version of Red, White and Bloom, I did an entire video series on this to do all the blocks. I did some in the single needle. I did some in the multi needle. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And we had it done by the 4th of July. Was that last year or the year before? I can't remember. So hi, Pam, Graham. She's one of my peeps here locally. <laughs> I miss seeing you at the store. So, all right. So I wanted to uh, get that done. Need to let you know the weightless quilter tabletop from Dime is on sale. I've got a link below to the weightless quilter tabletop. If you're doing a baby quilter smaller, you'll absolutely love it. They also have on sale, they come out with a new product from Designs and Machine Embroidery. It's called Shimmer and Shine, and it's a vinyl applique kit. So what they did was, is they curated different pieces of glitter vinyl and matched up Kingstar metallic threads with them. So let's see. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is one I got. So we've got the aqua and kind of a mauve and the lime. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. I love it. So you get a nice big piece of this and then it came with, they have all different colorways of this stuff, guys. And I will, I've linked to it below, but you get three rolls or three spools of Kingstar metallic. And I got this one because I have a lot of Kingstar, but I didn't have these colors. And so I wanted to get those. All right. I hope I'm coming through nice and clear and the audio is working with the video and everything. I actually ran a uh, 75 foot fiber from my router 
and put it into the laptop that I'm on right now. So Pamela says she did the Kimberbell 4th of July quilt by watching my videos. Oh, good. That's great. I love to be able to open up new stuff for you guys to uh, have fun and do. I need to tell you, don't forget, we've got about 70 people now signed up for the Sew and Sail 13 cruise. It's a scan and cut master class. Where's Keith? He just woke up from a nap. I think I was, I think I was talking too loud. <laughs> I just heard him making a, uh, he drinks that Advocare Spark stuff. So the boys, uh, Lisa's husband, Mike and Keith, they just got back from Port O'Connor, Texas there. It was warrior weekend and they take troops out. They volunteer the boat and they take troops out and take them fishing. And it's a really nice tribute to all of the troops, active duty and retired, and they do it every year. So, uh, oh, Deborah, thank you. <laughs> she says, I look wonderful. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but I'm glad it's working out. I had to get a fiber to USB to connect everything. You guys, the tech on this is crazy. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, so sewandsailcruise.com. Uh, you can sign up there. There's about 13. April's coming. Can't wait to see you and meet you. That's going to be a lot of fun. I will be teaching a class that day or on one or both of the C days showing how I turn paper patterns into applique embroidery designs. We will do a class on that. This is the hollyhock block from... Uh, Calico Garden. I just finished shooting the video on this and getting it done and everything. And I've got to edit it and get it out to you guys. So those of you that are working on it can do it. That was a humdinger. I tell you, that was something else. So real quick, if you're working on that, um, I sewed the stems down on my domestic machine because this stem is 19 inches long and it's too long for the largest hoop on the market that that 10 by 16 that the Luminaire and the Solaris have. And then this one is just 15 inches long. And then what I did was I created five embroidery designs of the circles 01 through 05, and I stitched them individually on those stems. I kind of laid them all out, marked them with a, a, a friction marker, one of these friction uh, iron away markers and then stitched them on individually. That's how I did that. I didn't try to bundle those little balls and hope, cross my fingers that they would hit the stem because they probably wouldn't. But uh, will I be doing a live from the cruise? Ooh, oh yeah, I know. Uh, Vortex Legit Kits closed yesterday. So congratulations to all of you that got on that. Somebody left a comment on the um, Facebook page showing a picture of their kit that they got for the month. And they're like, thanks, Keith. This is all your fault. <laughs> but we will be shooting the video with him doing block number one tomorrow. And uh, then I've got to edit that and get it out when it's available. I think it starts June 1st, but you had until the 20th to get in on that. But uh yeah, so I will be teaching how to do this. Now, another place I'm going to be teaching how to do this method, hands-on method, is at the Mull Queen Sewing Centers in Tempe, Arizona, September 29th and 30th. I'm so excited. I got invited to go out there by Darren, and I just want to thank them so much. I'm really looking forward to it. So be sure to get a hold of the store, find out when it's... It's going to be two days. It's one day, you know, 30 students one day. And I think you're going to get your own machine. He's got 30 luminaires there. And for those of you that might be out of town, he told me that he has got access. Yeah, Tracy. Woo! <laughs> he told me he has access to a hotel nearby that has a shuttle service. So if you want to come in and hang out for the weekend, that'll be great. We'll see about getting together for dinner and we're just going to have a great time. I'm really excited about that. So if any of you want me, am I heading, when am I heading to New England? Well, that was going to be in 2024, but I'm being told about another so and sell cruise of in, in 2024. I'll get back to you on that. So uh, if any of you would like me to come and teach at a class at your brother dealer, please just 
have them contact me, Power Tools with Thread at Outlook.com. And I'm happy to travel and and come and teach and see you guys and meet and greet. We can go to dinner and all of that. So um, absolutely love doing that with you guys. All right. I wanted to um, let me see. Let me go over this. Oh, I wanted to let you know I got Keith's quilt. Let me grab it. Y'all remember Autumn the Fox he did from Legit Kits? Well, I got it bound since the last time I talked to you guys. I think it's upside down. Uh, let me see. I can't tell. No, this is right side up, but I got it bound. Okay, so I know some of you may, I'm sure all of you have seen it before. This is it though. Autumn the Fox from Legit Kits. I can't stretch any higher, guys. Let me, I'll get the snout down here. Oh, <laughs> Y'all know how it, what it's like manhandling the quilt. So I just used the same fabric from the backing. This is a grunge. I absolutely love it. It was a perfect fit uh, match. And then I just stitched this on by machine. It needs a label, right? As Keith's first quilt. So thank you, Laura. Yeah, it's it. Keith is the man, isn't he? <laughs> so. I was glad to get that done because, you know, once he had it finished, he was like, when are you going to quilt it? When are you going to quilt it? When are you going to put a binding on it? And I'm like, you know, most quilters put their own binding on. And he said, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see that. Yeah, I already told you guys there's 70 on the cruise already. I think they have to cap it at 100. And this isn't going until next January. So you guys need to... Uh, uh, you know, jump on there and get scheduled. Be sure to sign up for the class. If you don't sign up for the class, we can't hang together. Okay. want to be sure to let you know that. Um, if you are already signed up for the class, be sure to, if you do Facebook, jump into that Sew and Sale 13 Facebook group because there's a lot of activity over there. You can jump in and say hi. And that's where you're going to get notified of all the events that are going to go on on the cruise and downloadables and whatever else you might need. So uh, if you haven't done that already, be sure. So, okay. Yeah. You guys don't forget if you want to win uh, today's giveaway is a set of stitch cards, courtesy of the fat quarter shop and courtesy of Deb, Debbie Malicote Dover. I don't know where she's from you guys. Uh, it's, um, unique designs by Deb. She gave me the Kimberbell sewing version of the, uh, the Kimberbell sewing version. No, the class is not posted yet at Mull Queens. No, he's, he's working on that. You guys. <laughs> so I've got the sewing version, no fabric included with this, but you will get the sewing version of red, white, and bloom. So we're going to give that away at the end of the live. All right. Uh, let me see. I did do a video. I released it just recently on organizing my sewing drawers. Uh, that was a lot of fun to do. And I'm surprised at how much is stuffed in there. I've got another set of Alex drawers. I'm going to go through again and I'll take you guys around my room bit by bit. It's the fabric that's got me kind of stumped. I'm looking at it all the time going, I don't like what I have as far as how it is all sorted out and I got to work on that. So, hey, uh, Lisa, I wanted to let them know I've had a lot of people ask me about getting Keith's seam rippers and they're sold out. So Lisa's going to share her screen and I think you go to present and what uh, is your blog. That's your store right there. OK, yeah. Share that. Great. Now, so this is Power Tools with ThreadStore.com, and this is where you land. Go ahead and take, can you take me down and make that hole? I think it's the last little box on the bottom underneath the screen. Oh, never On the, on it, the in the five. Yeah, the last little box on your right under the screen. Can you? There, that, there you go. Oh, I see. Okay. So when this is the home page of where you get everything and Lisa scroll down a little bit and show them the, the seam rippers. Can you scroll on the, on the page where we are? No. Okay. You need to go back to the page itself on the, on the store site. You're on the stream yard. 
<laughs> She's like, there, it is. There, there it is. is. So scroll down a little bit, grab that and scroll down. Now here's the seam ripper and stop right there. See how it says sold out in the middle of the page. Okay. That is actually the home page of the store site. So Lisa, scroll back up to the top, go to shop. And if you click on shop, that's where you get a list of all the goodies that are in the power tools with Stret with thread store. And then click on that one, the seam ripper stiletto combo. Now you're going to get the actual page sale page for the combo. And it takes just a second when you get there and they say sold out because they always are. But if you click on, you can click on your color and I've, I've had a lady email me. She wants a purple one. So can you find the purple one? Okay. And scroll down on the page and then scroll back up and maybe it'll pop up and realize what I need for it to do. Go back up. No, um, maybe it's because we're streaming. Well, when you guys go to the product page, yeah. probably because we're streaming, um, right underneath where it says sold out, where her right cursor is, it's right there. It'll say notify me when available. That is where you can click that and then you will get an, you add your email address. We will not spam you. And then you will get an email notification when they become available. Okay. So I just want to let you guys know how to do that. Um, go ahead and come back to me. The far left icon on the, there we go. So we do not take pre-orders for those because Keith is never sure when he's going to get product in to be able to make those seam rippers and the necklaces and all that. So uh, when you know, we don't want to take people's money and not have the product. And that's just not how we like to run. Oh, yeah. You love my son's ruler rack. Thank you. My son is a pastor in Colorado Springs at Peak Bible Church. And he uh, makes these ruler racks for your quilting rulers, your cutting rulers. And um, you definitely, if you want to get those, I would sign up for that as well and go to the product page and click on notify me when available. And thank you very much. He he loves to make those, but he's in a PhD program and he's a dad of three and a full-time pastor. So pretty busy. So also one other thing about Power Tools with Red, when you guys are going out and you're going to be doing some online shopping, would you jump over to the store site, to my blog, Lisa? When you guys are going, where'd you go? Are you okay? Yep. yep. <laughs> when you guys are going to be shopping, huge favor to Keith and I, on my blog, powertoolswiththread.com, you can pull it up, right, there is a, right below the main Power Tools with Thread, there is a little menu, it says home, and shop Power Tools with Thread links, right there in that gray. If you click that, click that right there, and then scroll down, here is a list of stores that I affiliate for. So I make a commission. I'm going to be very honest with you about that. I make a commission at no cost to you. Kimberbell, Connecting Threads, Fat Quarter Shop. You also get permanent coupon codes for if you want a Yazzie bag or you want to order so tights and there are permanent coupon codes there. But if you come here and you like legit kits, you click on that link, it'll jump you to their store site and you can shop to your heart's content. Even Amazon, even if you don't want quilting stuff or embroidery stuff on Amazon, let's say you want to buy a new dog collar or a cat toy, start here on Amazon, on my Amazon link, and then off you go, shop to your heart's content and no cost to you. It helps out the channel and it helps out Power Tools with Thread. So, all right, thanks. Can we get back to me? Um, you guess, you guess. Thank you. She's in control. <laughs> she can say, sorry. Boop, bye. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to talk to you guys about? Um, yeah. Told you that. Told you that. The Oh, we got new Villa Rosa Designs patterns. Villa Rosa Designs. I love this lady, Pat. She's awesome. Speaking of Pat and legit kits, there was a, before we get to these, I want to tell you guys, there's a lady named Pat out of, out of Australia, and she 
if you're overseas and the shipping is crazy expensive on the fabric for a legit kit, that's that paper piecing place that's out of Oklahoma. Pull up Pat's quilt, if you will, Lisa. She, it's present. Yep, yep you got it. She's on it. She's on it. She um, used her own fabrics. And I want to show you guys the quilt, legit kit quilt she made for her son. It's amazing. It's on, um, is it window? It's not, window. yeah, it's window, I think. Um, Click the other one, the other one, the other, that tab. Yeah. No. no, she'll figure it out. When she gets it up, she'll let me know and I'll let you know and then we'll do it. So let's show the Villa Rosa designs. It's in, don't forget it's in downloads. Right. You might need to pull it up. All right. So the first one now, the, Villa Rosa Designs has a pattern club. You get five quilt patterns every month for $8.95. Now, if you find these in your quilt store, they're usually like two to two twenty-five a piece. So look at this fabric on this. This is called Party Time. I just got some of this. It's not here yet. And did you find it? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna show you. Well, let me show the pattern since yes, I'm going yes. and then we'll do it. Okay. So, all right. So, Pat, if you're watching, run and get everybody around and go, look, my quilt's going to be on YouTube. Y'all, come on. <laughs> all right. So, okay. So, this is called 31. It finishes at 42 by 58. It uses a panel and background fabrics. Look at that. And the fabrics that are in this one are from the Fat Quarter Bundle. This fabric is at Villa Rosa Designs. I love it. It's very, very cool. If you're a beginner quilter, these are great. This is some of the best ways to start making quilts. They're not ginormous big. They're usually not real in intricate. They get a few of them that are in there. And you get a really neat, just a, a diagram of how all that goes and how that works. So uh, this is a great pattern if you've got a panel and you're not sure what to do with it. The next one is tiramisu. Is there a link for the heat erase markers I like? Marilyn, thank you. Yes, they're in my Amazon store. And my Amazon store is linked below the video, or you can get to it from my blog, powertoolswiththread.com, shop Power Tools links, and it's right there. And I have my, that jumps to my Amazon store. So uh, yeah, this is tiramisu. That's, pr that's pretty simple. Look at that. No diagonal seams. Isn't that great? This is a pretty good size quilt. It's 64 by 70 or 48 by 56 without the optional border. It uses 20 fat quarters. And the next one is another easy one. Tres leches. I said that because I live in South Texas. <laughs> And I took Spanish for three years in school. This one finishes at 48 by 57. This is great if you have a, a main border print or something like that, like that print you bought at the quilt shop, Lisa. That would be beautiful in this quilt. Okay. You can really showcase those beautiful fabrics that you're like, what am I going to do with that? I have no idea. And bubbles. This is a great use of uh solids or solid likes bubbles isn't that cute finishes at 63 by 69 and it uses nine fat quarters and background fabric three and a quarter yards of background fabric and the last one is happy thoughts this is precious this finishes at 63 by 68 happy thoughts very simple quilt again a great use of focus fabric in these long strips right here let me show you what it looks like. See how easy that is. Isn't that great? So happy thoughts. If you like to get these, you can sign up for the club. Again, $8.95, free shipping on these. They come every month. She also gives free shipping on fabric. So if you find fabric there at villarosadesigns.com, you can get uh, fabric with free shipping. I'm coming through very fuzzy, am I? It's that time of day. It's that time of day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, on Sundays, it's that time of day. I'm sorry. And also, if you want to, for an extra $1.75, you can join and get the uh, table runners. And this one is Flyaway. It uses 12 five-inch squares. How simple is that? 
five inch squares, 12 of them. It finishes at 16 by 54. Awesome. So that's fun. I'm perfect. I'm coming in perfect on your end. Awesome. April. I appreciate that. Yeah. You guys. So I had mentioned I was going to get fiber. No, it wasn't fiber. Their idea of high speed internet was DSL from front frontier. So, and somebody told me they have frontier and it's horrible. So my upload speed is like 9.0 and that's as good as it's going to get from here on out. And unless I do something somewhere else, I don't know, but here at the house now, but I am running the line directly into the laptop from the router. Let's see. Uh, I've got all of that stuff. I think I was going to talk to you guys about. Uh, I did get the Designs by Juju seasonal table topper. Okay. I did get this design and I am in the middle of shooting a video for it. I want to show you. I've got the top half of the summer done. So there's a project update. So I'll be getting this um, finished video shot and finished and everything. So I'm working hard for you guys, I hope. <laughs> part of that, the hardest part about that thing, I think, is organizing all of the pieces. But uh, don't forget, I'm going to be doing the Kimber Bell Shout Hooray. Oh, there it is. There. Okay, so this is a legit kit. You can just get a download. You don't have to buy the fabric kit if you're overseas. So Pat just used her stash fabrics and she made the bike look in the same color as her son's motorcycle. How cool is that? So that's really neat. You can either get the, and if you get the kits, they tell you what fabric to use where. So she just did all this on her own and I'm really proud of her. I know April, it is fantastic, isn't it? It's awesome. So Okay, uh, let's see. I want to let you know too, Amy Sews, I'm wearing her shop shirt. She has a tea towel of the month club. You guys, this is so cool. You can sign up for this. You get all of the SVG cut files so you can download those and cut out your fabrics. Uh, you can get the box, you get the tea towel, you get the box and all the goodies and there's a class and it's really reasonable so you can do the classes included in the kit so it's pretty neat you go to amysos.com and i've put a link below and you can get in on that tea towel kit i think i want to do that because that's pretty neat and y'all know i got a load of tea towels good grief but um so we have been on now how long 37 minutes i think that what do we got you want to do one of the DBJJ runners so badly. Yeah. Okay. Well, jump in both feet. How hard can it be? Right? <laughs> That's how I've lived my life. You guys. Well, how hard can that be? Too funny. Too funny. The June perfectly, uh, pieced kits are being shipped right now. I'll, uh, show you this next week. I don't want to ruin the surprise. This is from me time. And this one is really cool. It has a beautiful uh, set of blues in here that are just gorgeous. So, um, yeah, that's really neat. And then the Kimberbell Shout Who Ray bench pillow. Oh, I'm going to be making that. And I saw that you're going to wait for me to do the video on the on this, on the pillow. Okay. And this is such a cool thing. Yeah. So what they do is the pillow you buy... You know, this stays the same, okay? And then this is, there's four little buttons with little elastics and you just swap these out seasonally on the front of the pillow. How smart is that? But couldn't, wouldn't this be nice though? Uh, you could make your own panel, make a monogram on it, throw it on your couch. I mean, you could do anything. You could do a happy birthday on here uh, one for each grandkid and swap it out and it sits on their chair at the table for their party. You'd be a grandma, man. On steroids, it's cool. Speaking of birthday, we have got the Shout Hooray Kimberbell Bench Pillow. I have linked to this below. Uh, the quilt behind me, it is uh, Autumn Wonderland, Woodland Wonderland. I'll link to it below the video. I'll do that when I get off here. So this is an older pattern. This is from Fig Tree and Company. 
And uh, this is the black version. I don't know if you can still get the black version or you could source your own fabrics, but this one is done uh, with the chambray. I don't like working with it, you guys. Not happy, but it's what was sent in the kit. So, um, but this is the autumn version of it. So it's not the woodland wonderland. This is autumn wonderland is that. And that was with Pat Sloan. Okay, so we've got the Shahu Raid bench pillow. I've got my no show mesh, my Kimberbell no show mesh. I got the kit with all the fabrics. Pretty, pretty. These are awesome, you guys, because the way this thing works is all of these words and everything here, they're all interchangeable for you to be able to switch out the pillow for whatever you need it to be for that particular celebration. Here's the uh, embellishment kit, all kinds of goodies in here. These designs are just precious, you guys, just precious. And I've got some batting in here to go with it. You got the whole nine yards, y'all. And then a gorgeous glide thread kit. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love glides thread colors. So I will be making this and doing a video for it. I'm just giving you guys lots of opportunity to get your kits if you want to make it right along with me. So how about we do a giveaway? Don't forget, hashtag power tools. But before you do that, if I'm going to give you something, give me a thumbs up on the channel, please. That helps a whole lot. Really good for the analytics, according to Google. And please subscribe. Again, when I hit 75,000 subscribers, I will be giving away the Home Again quilt kit courtesy of Lady M. These are just gorgeous fabrics, you guys. It's a two-color quilt from the Fat Quarter Shop. You get the pattern and all of the fabric. So uh, what do I use for garden flags, non-fading fabric? I got, you can go out to walmart.com and you can get 10 of them really inexpensive. They're like a burlap is what they look like on the front. I don't know if it is burlap. Some people are allergic, but it looks like a burlap and the back of it is plastic. And then I just covered the back of mine with some fabric to, you know, to hide the stitching and everything. They're really inexpensive. So, um, Terry, you need to put the pound sign on there. Power tools. We need a hashtag power tools. Would you pop that up, Lisa, so they can see what it looks like and we can be sure everybody gets a chance. That's right. Just the way Elaine did it. Hashtag power tools. We're going to be giving away the stitch card courtesy of the Fat Quarter Shop. Lori Holt, be in my bonnet. And this is, it's so Emma. And the sewing version of Red, White, and Bloom. All right. So I think we are about ready. Are we ready to spin? So Lisa's going to uh, share your screen first so that they can see it. She's in training. <laughs> <laughs> you guys this is awesome i'm having so much fun i'm having fun this is great okay here we go ready can i refresh this you, you don't to be more entries in 266 i don't know be, go ahead and refresh it hit refresh see what happens let's see oh way to go okay hold on <laughs> she's like oh now you gotta redo oh, it okay. now you guys are getting to see all of the uh yeah but it reset it reset the number but it has to count see it reset the number it it's resetting the number it's going to reset the number okay so take that off we're going to leave it a minute now i have to talk to you guys some more <laughs> yeah way to go girl yay yay computers love me they do <laughs> she goes near a computer and it starts to go <laughs> She's like, ah, <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. What else can I talk to you guys about? Hey, I'm, I'm really proud of you. Some of you have been putting this on our Facebook group, Power Tools with Thread Facebook group. If you join that, if you want to join that, you've got to answer all the questions. If you only answer one, we think you're a bot and you don't get to join and we'll disapprove your entry. So uh, this is the uh, quilty wall hanging and you guys have been making it and putting it on Facebook and I'm just so proud of you for jumping in with that. It's got applique. This design is special for this particular project. It's at sulky.com. It's in their webinars. 
you can do it and source your own fabrics or you can get the kit as well. And this is me teaching you how to do that end to end quilting is what that was for. So that's a class that I am doing. It's a lot of fun to do. And you get to keep this. This is available only to the group that gets the sulky kit, the, uh, that joins the webinar. It's exclusive to that. So you will not find this with a little uh, quilt hanging off the sewing machine. It will not be on the Designs by Juju website. So and that, was sulky? that is the sulky. Yeah, it's sulky webinars that does that. And a uh, question is legit kits doing the vortex quilt along. They are Judy, but the sign up for that closed yesterday. It finished on May 20th. So um, they're not going to offer that pattern on their website. That's just a block of the month that they are doing just for the people who signed up for that. So uh, yeah, I wish, where was the last box from? I missed what box that one that had the glide thread. That is from Kimberbell. It's called the Shout Hooray Bench Pillow. And it, let me get a picture, a good picture of it here. Here, this is what it looks like. But what they've done, all these, these are all little words that can be interchanged. You can change out pictures. You can change out dates. You can see it on here. You can change out words, everything to customize it for the event that you've got going on. So that was Kimberbell. Uh, what bobbin thread do I use when I use King Star metallic thread? So I use regular embroidery bobbin. How do you get to the webinar and design and order the kit? Okay, I've got too many questions I'm trying to answer right here. If you go to sulky.com, S-U-L-K-Y.com, then click on their, their edu they have a, a menu that says education. And when you click on that, there's webinars and mine is there. So uh, to go back to Bobbin Thread for Kingstar, I made, and I've got a video that I did where I've used Kingstar. It was the very first time I ever used it. This is back in my old sewing space. And I made a freestanding lace angel from Designs by Juju. And I put Kingstar in the bobbin and it worked beautifully. So uh, do some more in brilliance share teaching. Yes, I will be doing that. And a matter of fact, that's I think I'm going to be doing some in brilliance teaching at Mull Queens in Arizona in September. So uh, that is not on the calendar yet there at the store. So if you want to join, you guys get on them and say, hey, I need to sign up for that. But um, Carol says, I heard you mention a particular point on your markers and that you like markers versus pens. What's my favorite? So, Carol, I use Friction, F-R-I-X-I-O-N. They are by uh, Pilot. So there are markers. This is a standard marker. OK, this one is a standard style marker. It's Friction by Pilot. Let me see if I can get the. This is friction colors. This is I've got these in my Amazon store. They don't ghost, which I really like. And by ghost, I mean you go to iron it off and you can still see the white, which comes off with a little bit of water. You don't have to get all wound up about it. So and then this is the fine point. See how fine that is right there. OK, so there's your fine point marker. And then there's the friction pens. And I've got one right under here somewhere. Yeah. Now the friction pens, these are the pens and they have like an ink ballpoint tip. These ghost, I don't know what it is, but they ghost and I don't care for that. So yeah, Joy, welcome to the party. Fix and have it be done. <laughs> That's okay. Better late than never, right? <laughs> yep. You guys do a hashtag power tools. We're going to do the giveaway here. Oh, I got to tell you too, y'all. Last week, we talked about that Femore rotary cutter with ball bearings. I got one from Amy Sews. Oh, man, this thing is the bomb. Liking it. Lisa's liking it. Uh, I haven't changed the blade yet, but this thing just floats. Oh, it is so nice. You do have to, this is just me, what I've noticed. When you pull the guard back, see how the guard is kind of halfway through the blade? Whereas like on the, on the clover one, the guard is 
away. See, see the difference? Okay. Kind of, anyway, you just have to kind of angle it a little bit. That's all. So you want to be sure your ergonomics are right when you're cutting. But uh, how do I find my Amazon store? If you go to powertoolswiththread.com and shop Amazon links, Amazon is the very, uh, Amazon, shop Power Tools with Thread links out in the menu and Amazon is the very first one and it'll jump you over to my store. And from there, you can just go, you know, buy a new car on Amazon, whatever you want. It's fine. <laughs> you don't have to shop my store. So uh, Lisa, let's um, get ready to do the giveaway and go back to that, but don't share screen yet. Let's take a look and see where the numbers are. Okay. It sounds like we're about ready. So she's going to hit draw and then share screen. Yeah. So we're doing the drawing right now and we've got 518 here. Y'all, thank you so much. Please give the channel a thumbs up. Go ahead and share the screen for the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner is Linda Bridges. Yay. <laughs> I promise she's going to get it up. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Pre hey, now. Uh, uh. hey now. See, this is a hard job. Uh-huh. 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 She's, there it is. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay, Linda. <laughs> Congratulations, Linda. Okay, that's great. Linda, please reach out to me by email, powertoolswiththread at outlook.com. I hope you live in the U.S. If you don't, we'll work it out. But I forgot to say that, U.S. shipping only, please. So um, anyway, yeah, uh, powertoolswiththread at outlook.com. Email me, send me your mailing address and I will get this out to you tomorrow morning. So Linda won the stitch cards courtesy of the Fat Quarter Shop. And she won the sewing version of Kimber Bell's Red, White, and Blue. Just in time to start making it for the summer holidays. But all right, you guys, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Try to get here next week. It's uh, Sundays at 4 p.m. unless we're out of town. But I will let you all know that. Uh, name of the store in Tempe is Mull Queens Sewing Centers. So he's got like three stores, I think. There's Mesa, Glendale, and Tempe. And I'm under the impression it's going to be in the Tempe store. They got a brand new classroom there. So I am looking forward to that. And uh, you guys just, y'all are going to bombard the store now. He's going to be like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, Tracy got it right. Mull Queen and Tempe. That's correct. And Keith's brother, Keith is going to come with me. His brother lives in Tempe. So we're going to visit family while we're there. So we're very excited. Well, thank you, Erin. She said, great show. I appreciate that. You guys give the video a thumbs up. We've got uh, lots of folks on here. So I want to see that many thumbs up on the channel. Okay. All right. You guys. There we go. Bye. Before I zoom out again. Bye.